Hey, it's Dr. Nally here. I figured I'd do a video for you instead of coming live today since I just finished up with patients and haven't had a chance to pull up some live streaming. But I've had a lot of people over the last few months, well, the last two years actually, ask me, Dr. Nally, I'm doing this ketogenic lifestyle, but I don't know how to check to see if it's working. What labs should I ask for or what can I get? So I'm gonna give you a series of labs that you can look at and understand which ones are gonna be okay. Hopefully the labs here, we're gonna give you some benefit. Let me talk a little bit about them. Number one is a CBC, that stands for a complete blood count. This tells me if you're anemic, it tells me what your white blood cell counts are doing and it tells me about your immune system. The second one is what's called a comprehensive metabolic panel or a COMP or CMP, depending on the lab you get it from. This tells you me about what's your fasting blood sugar, what electrolytes are, are, are you missing or are, are you deficient in the electrolytes, what are your liver enzymes doing, what's your kidney function doing, and how's your general nutrition based on your protein levels uh, in that regard. Are you acidotic or are you alkalotic? Are you having one of those challenges there? That, that test gives me the information. Third is thyroid, TSH. This is what's called a thyroid stimulating hormone. You're probably gonna read a lot of information about thyroid. I'm sure you've read about, well, there's a lot of you come in my office and you've read a lot about you know, I should have this test, this test, and this test. Basically, if your TSH is stable, I know that you're pretty good. Now, if you're having lots of fatigue, we may want to order an expanded thyroid panel. That panel includes uh, the combination of T3, T4, some subtypes of those, and occasionally we'll check what's called a reverse T3. That tells me about thyroid function, but often what I find is that your thyroid function is broken because your insulin, your insulin levels are way too high. Frequently, when we correct your insulin levels through a ketogenic lifestyle, you'll find that your thyroid levels self-correct. A lot of people don't find their thyroid corrects because the insulin stays too high and we never correct their diet. So that's why a ketogenic lifestyle is so important. Next one is gonna be a cholesterol profile. Now you can order what's called a lipid panel, but that only gives you a total cholesterol, an HDL, an LDL, and a triglyceride. The problem is that HDL, LDL, and, and total cholesterol don't really give us the data about heart disease or stroke risk. What we know is that triglyceride and the small dense LDL particle are the ones that actually give us risk more effectively than that LDLC or that calculated uh, low density lipoprotein test. So I ordered an expanded test called an NMR profile or a cardio IQ test. These can be ordered through LabCorp or Request, respectively and they give us an expanded breakdown as to what's your insulin doing to the smallest, most atherogenic or heart disease producing cholesterol molecules in your body. That's why I like it. Next is urinalysis. Tells me if there's any problem with your urine, are you passing protein? Is there an infection? Things of that nature. Sometimes we'll check what's called a microalbumin test. That's microscopic protein that is passed through the kidney if the kidneys have already started getting damaged because of long history of insulin resistance, prediabetes or even diabetes or hypertension. Um, Another test I often frequently order is insulin. It's not, it's not essential to be ordered every time, but I usually order it as a baseline. If your insulin's greater than five, you're probably insulin resistant and we wanna look at appropriate treatment with you. The next one is leptin. Leptin is a, a hormone produced by the fat cells. Leptin really helps us understand why those cravings are stimulated there. And a lot of people have leptin resistance on top of insulin resistance, which drives that process. So checking leptin is essential. Uh, lastly, uh, we can check your, your uh, ho other male or female hormones, testosterone, estrogen, progesterone, estrone, estradiol, number of these. Um, those are going to be a little more expansive and usually with your insurance plan you probably have to have some specific reasons to check them. They won't they usually let us screen those, but talk with me or talk with your doctor uh, and we can, we can help you out with that when you see us in the office. So those are the labs that I would most commonly order. You can write them down, use this as a reference to check it out, uh, or when you go talk with your doctor, the, the, it'll, that'll give you some reasons behind why we order these specific tests. So hopefully you enjoy this. Hopefully it's giving you some great information and gives you some direction as to where to go and what needs to be checked when you're following a ketogenic lifestyle. Oh, I forgot, there's one more. Uh, it's called MTHFR. Should have put that up on the list there. MTHFR stands for methyl tetrahydrofolic acid. Um, this is a DNA test, so it is a little more expensive for some people. Um, it only has to be done once in your life. There are two specific genes that code for a, uh, an enzyme that helps your body methylate folic acid inside the cell. It's not something that can be measured through the blood test when you're methylating, so we have to measure the gene. That's why, it's, that's why we measure it, and it's a genetic test. What we find though is about 60% of my patients who have insulin resistance don't have this, this uh, have a broken or a, um, uh, an inappropriate functioning gene and so they don't methylate their folic acid very well. Well, why is that important? It's important for a major reason. It, it, 
without it, you're, you're going to have great trouble absorbing B6 and B12. Uh, and it may cause significant fatigue and prolong your, your, your challenges with weight gain or ha make it hard to, to lose weight. It's also associated with anxiety and depression, and in some cases, schizophrenia. So there are some issues that we want to check, and that's another test that I'll frequently add if fatigue's a big issue with you. So check out those lab tests. Hopefully you enjoy them. Remember, keep the fat high, keep the carbs low, and pass the bacon. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.